Was Kim Kardashian West caught doing cocaine in a video? There is no way, at least I wouldn't think so. But let's find out. So basically what happened was Kim was snapping and Instagramming as per usual. She was talking about the kids supply clothing line that she was creating with her husband Kanye West. But people watching the video couldn't help but notice there was a white powdery substance on a table in the background. Twitter basically went nuts and began attacking the mom of two, calling her a drug addict and slamming her for doing drugs when you can hear her kids voices in the background of her video. Kim quickly addressed what was going on and tweeted, I do not play with rumors like this so I'm going to shut it down real quick. That sugar from our candy mess from Dylan's candy shop. Even though Kim has been very open about the fact that she doesn't do drugs and barely drinks, people weren't buying it. Shortly after, Kim posted another snap where she takes a closer examination of the table and she shows everyone it's made of marble and that's where the white lines came from. She even rubs it and everything so she can shut down the people accusing her of doing drugs. Check it out. I did think that it was our pixie sticks. But after all that, this table in the background is a marble table, you guys. Like, come on. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to LP. I'm Court McGinley. Thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful Wednesday. As always, we have a bunch of interesting news stories headed your way, so let's get into it. Next, archaeologists make an amazing discovery underneath a Mexican pyramid. They found a secret tunnel that they believe represents the underworld. The 33 feet deep tunnel was found under the Pyramid of the Moon, which is just northeast of Mexico City. Some believe that the tunnel represents the underworld in the belief system of a pre Columbian civilization who built the pyramid over two thousand years ago. The tunnel runs from the central square to a nearby pyramid. What's also interesting is similar tunnels have been found across the ancient city. Researchers are saying that the pyramid of the moon was likely used for rituals including human sacrifice. This is based off studies of human remains found at the burial sites. Lovely. Next, this teen won the lottery twice in one week. Talk about lucky. 19 year old Rosa Dominguez bought two scratcher tickets and won more than $600,000. The first one happened when Rosa was driving home from Arizona and she made a pit stop at a gas station and bought a few scratcher cards. When she scratched the $5 power ticket, she was stunned when she realized she won the top prize of $555,555. A few days later, she decided to try her luck again and bought a $5 lucky fortune scratcher. And when she scratched that ticket, she won yet again another top prize. This one was for $100,000. With all of this newfound wealth, Rosa plans to go shopping and buy a new car. Rosa, you can buy a house with that kind of money. Dream big girl. Next, Marine Corps plane crashes in Mississippi. 15 Marines and a Navy corpsman were killed when their transport plane crashed in the Mississippi Delta. They were on a training flight moving equipment and Marines from North Carolina to California. Federal Aviation Administration officials contacted the Marines when the aircraft disappeared from the air traffic control radar over Mississippi. Investigators are still trying to determine why this plane crashed. It went down in a rural area just off US 82, about 85 miles north of Jackson. Shortly after the crash on Tuesday morning, the President tweeted out this message. Marine plane crash in Mississippi is heartbreaking. Melania and I send our deepest condolences to all. This really is heartbreaking and our thoughts go to the families affected. Next, SeaWorld has launched an investigation into mysterious death at park. A newborn beluga whale died shortly after it was born at the Orlando theme park. This is the second newborn to die at the park this year. A spokesperson for the park said the calf died because it was unusually weak and surfaced only briefly before sinking to the bottom of the pool. The park is running a full post-mortem examination which could take up to several weeks. The calf's mother, Whisper, was born in 1999 at SeaWorld Antonio and was transferred to Orlando back in 2010. Throughout her pregnancy, she received health assessments and ultrasounds to monitor her and the calf. Whisper is currently under 24-hour monitoring to ensure that she stays healthy. As of now, it's reported that she's been active and alert. SeaWorld has been exposed in the past for treating their animals poorly. For example, back in 2013, the documentary Blackfish came out and it revealed how the business treated its orcas, causing its stocks and tendons to plummet. Next, beauty blogger shares a video of her open brain surgery. Courtney Elizabeth Warner is not only a beauty blogger, she's also a fifth grade teacher, and she's been on YouTube since 2014. Her fans were shocked when she made a video two months ago titled I Have a Brain Tumor, and then again three weeks ago when she made a video titled I Have Grade 3 Cancer. She received a huge outpouring of support from her hundreds of thousands of subscribers and fans. About the experience, she says, A couple of weeks before my brain surgery, I had said that I wanted to film everything about the surgery 
surgery and everything like that. I wanted to show you guys how it was for me, all the way from the beginning to the end. Two weeks ago she posted a video titled My Brain Surgery Filmed From My Perspective. And in it she explains what happened and even shows us the footage from the surgery. Then two days ago she posted a video titled Cancer Sucks. In this video she shows us how her hair is falling out and her experience. I think it's super brave of her to share her story to help other people who are going through the same thing and just help people understand in general. So after this video you should definitely head on over to her channel and check out her videos. Next, no surprise here, Black China has been granted her restraining order from Rob Kardashian. China was granted a temporary restraining order against Rob following the revenge porn drama. Rob has been ordered to stay at least 100 yards from China. He also can't post any pictures of China, their daughter Dream, or China's son Cairo. About this, China's attorney Lisa Bloom said, The judge gave us everything we asked for, which is a set of very strong and forcible restraining orders against Rob Kardashian, restraining him from coming near her, cyberbullying, posting anything about her online of a personal nature including photos and videos. As we have said all along, revenge porn is a form of domestic abuse. It's also a crime in California and 38 other states. Right now the two parents just need to focus on taking care of their daughter dream. Well there you guys have it. That's all the stories I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.